Good freaking morning. Welcome to my vlog. It's gonna be a day in the life vlog today. because that needs to be tamed. It is 6.15 in the morning, guys. I usually start my day right around 6 a.m. Sometimes in the summertime, a little bit earlier, wintertime, which we're kind of in the fall now. Six, six o'clock in the morning. What we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be a crazy day. Filled with fun, filled with hobs, filled with razors and working out and business. So lots of things going on in my life. So we thought, hey, why not do a, a, a day in the life? My macros right now, 230 grams of protein, 375 grams carbs, and 70 grams fat. Doing that because I'm doing a triathlon training, a lot more cardio. So my cows, my overall cows are increased, but also my carbohydrates are increased. So that includes my breakfast. Right now, I'm gonna get a shake in me, a little pre-workout shake. Been working out in the morning. So I'm gonna get that shake, go to the gym, get a workout, and then actually start our day. All right, just about ready to leave for the gym. Had to throw the headband on. Hair is getting long, and I feel like if you wear hats, it's a good way to not damage your hair necessarily, but I feel like my scalp gets irritated if I wear hats a lot. So. People ask me about hair tips and stuff all the time. I would say don't wear a hat every day if you want healthy hair. That's tip number one. Tip number two, get in the car, we're going to the gym. All right, as I'm sipping my uh, pre-workout with pump in it, we're gonna go over today's workout. So upper posterior, I do so much better guys when I actually follow a program and you're like, Steve, you guys have an app, fitness culture, you don't follow a program all the time. No, I don't, because when you're writing your own programs, a lot of times you're jumping all over the place, you're trying different programs, you're shooting for Instagram. So really trying to dial it in while I train for a triathlon. Again, training four days a week with weights, six cardio sessions a week, which means we're gonna lower the volume just a little bit, not a ton. You can still see this is a decent amount of volume, but we're gonna lower the amount of volume just a little bit. And what we're gonna be doing here, we have upper, Posterior, we got, so basically it's a pull day. We got arms, we got a little bit of uh, anterior delt work along with back. So neutral grip, three sets. This is gonna be more like the warm up, six to eight reps. We're gonna stay pretty much two reps from failure today. Then the thing you guys need to notice, the tempo, time under tempo. Everything is a three second eccentric. That's what that first number is. The second number is at the end of the an eccentric. So on a bench press, the eccentric part is us bringing the weight back down nice and slow. That is the second number at the chest. The third number is the concentric. And then the fourth number is at the top, squeezed out after the concentric. So you can see here, that's our tempo. Um, and then we got our rest time in between here. So you guys can follow along with this. We have basically four sets for most of our, our working exercises. So again, Focusing on back today, specifically more upper back, rhomboids, and biceps. So, I've already hit an upper body day once already this week. Actually, I already had, this is my third upper body day. The first one is just kind of all upper body, focusing more on compound lifts. Then we do legs, off day. Then we have an upper body push day. Fourth session of the week, upper body pull day. So, we're gonna do that, and then hopefully, uh, we get some friends in town where we're gonna try to go meet them out at the sand hill with the Polaris, with the Razor. I haven't ridden the Razor in a while. So gonna get through this workout. Should take about mm, 45 to 60 minutes once we stretch, depending on if you count stretching or not. So this is gonna kick in and we're gonna go get the, get the workout started, kick the tires and light the fires as we used to say. A little warm up.
eccentric. Pause. Three second eccentric. Pause. Three second eccentric. Morning way to 215. 215. We're up a little bit because we've increased the calories this week. We were, I, was, I was under eating big time. Just coming in, having shitty workouts. It's amazing. If you're failing to get a good pump in the gym, you're either dehydrated, you don't have enough carbohydrates, you're getting shitty sleep at night, or you're just lacking focus, basically. So, one of those things. Taking too much time in between sets on your phone, but it could be minus because I was definitely probably lacking sleep a little bit, but mostly. Underfeeding, underfeeding, no, not enough carbohydrates. Nice and wide on this. If you have any lower back injuries, doing a seated hammer strength with supported T-bar, it's gonna be nice because if we were to do the same thing with a bent over barbell row, that lower back's gonna be kind of at risk. We get a lot of lower back work, leg day, deadlifts, just even, you know, with all the, the biking that we're doing, we're benting, bent over a lot, so we're strengthening the lower back with things like you know, back extensions, but I also like working in some supported. Calvin and Hobbs, that's where he got his name. My sister's dog, so when we go out, take the Polaris out, we'll take him over there. So he's not just sitting at home all day, huh? You wanna come here? You wanna come say hi? Okay. I know, I know, I know, bud. I know, I know. You wanna say hi to everyone? Say hi to YouTube? You love them? Okay, go get in your bed. Go get in your bed. Look what just came from for Hops. This is from my buddy, uh, Brandon Foken, and it says Hob Cooks Peanut Butter. Bro, you got your own peanut butter with pretty much a dog that looks just like, that's Hobbs. Bud, come here, man. We're gonna go for a run, so you need to get a little bit of energy beforehand, because it gets hot and you're gonna, should I just open it up and let him go at it? This is like an industrial size. You so excited, man? Oh, oh. you're going for the lid first? You're going for the lid? Come here. I don't know if there's anything that, that's different about lick, man. Yeah, go at it. <laughs> that's every dog's dream. 
a bucket almost as big as him full of peanut butter. All right, man. Well, thanks, Brandon, for sending this. Hobbs practices parkour every day. Go, go, in your bed. Parkour, parkour. Teamed up with good old Travis. Travis uh, took care of us, obviously built out this entire Polaris, worked with all the different vendors on it. So uh, he's gonna be taking us out with the assault guys today. What, Double Sammy is what we're doing Double today? Sammy. He, we're uh, we're he, gonna make Steve uncomfortable. Yeah, he premised it with, hey, we're gonna get you a little bit out of your comfort zone. I said, Travis, I was, I was uncomfortable parking in this bitch. My truck's stuck in sand right now. We're really low. Bro. What? So uh, yeah, we're gonna just try to not look stupid, not tip over, but you know, we're got, we got a great SDR cage if that happens. So let's go. All right, let's hop in and kick the tires and light the fires. Beautiful day for it, boys. Beautiful day. Love that the first thing that they said was, uh, we're gonna get you out of your comfort zone here today, Steve. This is like shitting your pants 101. Wow. College. All right. Vinny, whatever you do, do not put your hands outside the vehicle at any time. Hands, arms, limbs all stay inside the vehicle. That's when shit goes wrong. Feeling like everyone got out of the car for a reason. So, uh, uh, you know, yeah, this is just another day in the life. We come out here, we mob every single day. No, we don't. This is in my backyard, and I don't know anyone really besides my old neighbors that are good enough to do this. So, uh, I don't come out here by myself. There's a reason for that. But we got uh, dudes that do this all the freaking time, and when they go slow, I start white knuckling this shit. So, uh, I've rolled once in this today, or not today, but I've rolled once before. Hopefully we don't do that today. I want to keep it kind of clean. Uh, had the sweatshirt on, had to take it off real quick because your heart rate is so fast. It's just like blood is just pumping everywhere, your adrenaline. So, had to take the sweatshirt off, sweating because this shit's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. You get out here with people that do it all the time, and some of them are bypassing things. Granted, I got a sweet rig with some 35 inch tires, so some of these smaller vehicles that are made from sand couldn't do what we did, but we haven't had to pass up an obstacle yet. A couple people with us have had to go around, not the Swolder Mobile, we got it.
freaking got red dirt all over me. It was a hell of a time out there. Now, we just got Mo Betas. If you're not from Utah, Mo Betas is this Hawaiian style food. Mo Betas. Mo Betas than anything you guys got in your place. Unless you're in Salt Lake and you have Mo Betas. A few moments later. Alright guys, we got our final shipment of samples in too for Culture Subs. As you guys can see, this is I think the first reveal we've had of the logo. And we're picking out, also we're picking out containers. We've got to figure out if we want to go with the matte black and glossy black culture or the gray and black. So it's also a thumbprint. Tagline is leave your mark. So we have the thumbprint. It's kind of a cool way to to leave your mark on things. So we're gonna be rolling out hopefully in November um, with COVID and it's always hard, but we do have the shakers as I told you guys earlier. We got the orange tops. You guys know I love my black, white, orange, black, white color. So we kept things pretty simple, just black, white, pop of orange on the shaker cups. Um, we're testing cookies and cream. We got blue raspberry. Um, we have alien elixir, which I don't know if we're gonna roll out we have so many flavors that we're gonna probably do two different rollouts. Uh, orange creamsicle, so lots of good ones here. There was one I wanted to try here. Witness is, is the essence of moisture. This is definitely my favorite flavor. So we're gonna take this and then we're gonna go run. A little BCA action. Wild and smooth. I like BCA in pre-workout. I'm not a super sour guy, some people are. We've included a sour flavor in here. I'll drink it every now and then, but it's not my go-to. I like something I can sip on and enjoy. Maybe put some some ice cubes in there and just as I'm working, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you want some too? Yeah. Okay, oh. What do you think? What do you think? Is that good? Guys, um, we're gonna give one of these shakers away too, or I'm not gonna give you the one I'm drinking out of because maybe you want it, I don't know, but I'm gonna pick a comment from this video and you will be the first person in the world besides fitness culture to have one of these culture shaker cups. They're good too, they're a blender bottle one, so BPA free. So yeah, guys, on this on this line, we've been working on it a, on a long time. I'm super happy with how it's turned out, but Again, hopefully with COVID, it's hard to launch. We wanted to do something cool. So if you guys have an idea of something we should do come November, you know, maybe early on, if you guys are watching this, you guys can get early access to the supplements. But when we launch, we're gonna have like a big launch, probably January, February, soft launch come November. Um, but yeah, so let us know, what should, we, what should we do for it? Can't really do a retreat. We're in the middle of a pandemic still. So. Let us know what you guys think. Maybe a Hawaii retreat? I don't know. It sounds like a good time. I get some more flavors to try. We have got some running to do, and then we gotta jump on the Zoom call with the contestants of that thing that I'm doing. It's not the biggest loser, but it's a thing that's coming out. You guys gotta stay tuned for it. Guys, we don't stop. One of the things that I don't think a lot of people realize on social media is that in order to have good content and everything, as you get busier in life, you have less and less time to create that content. So if you're a social media person out there and brands start coming along and wanna do things with you, don't neglect your content side because what I've realized is mo money, mo problems. And what I mean by that is all these good things, these things that you work for, you know, you work on social media so you can, you know, hopefully one day make a living 
doing that, but you can't neglect what got you there in the first place. So right now, case in point, this is gonna be our podcast room. Uh, we're in here right now, really cool project. I can't say what it is. We got two cameras going. We got the teleprompter with the iPad in there. So Biggest Loser isn't happening this year, um, obviously. So this is kind of a cool project that is remote, working with a big company that you guys have definitely heard of that we're doing a contest that we'll tell you guys more about with contestants that are from all over the country. So that part is cool. We also have, I have three businesses that I personally have um, like some ownership in that two of which are launching one supplements. The other one you guys don't know about what it is yet. That one's with Morgan. Uh, we're going to be launching those in quarter four that we're in right now in the end of 2020 and then into 2021. Um, and then obviously fitness culture is the other one I'm talking about, kind of re reskinning the app, adding some new features. So all of that stuff is going on while yesterday, you know, I, I flew out to California for trifecta. So running businesses, when I say businesses, plural, because I have Gymshark, I have trifecta, all of these companies that I'm super happy to work with, but then you have your own businesses that you should always be concentrating on because eventually those are what's going to get you if you're out there and you know you're wanting to people ask me all the time steve i want to i want to do what you do you need to have some of your own things as well so um and then there's other side projects like what we're doing right now we're gonna get on we got seven guys on the zoom call today i'm the host of the show and uh look forward look forward to tell you guys more about it hopefully it'll start airing in november so stay tuned for that but right now we're going live in four minutes. So that hill all the way in the distance is where we're at today. And I can't zoom any further, but you can kind of see some lights right above my finger. We've been all the way up there before. Those are ATVs, UTVs, at the Trail Hero event we were at today. This is St. George. So, yep, I'm in my rental house in the hot tub enjoying enjoying this this view to end the day we ran we worked out this morning we went on a crazy ride got a little sunburned can you guys see that farmer tan i don't even think that's a farmer tan got a little sunburned and i'm about to jump on my last business call of the day it's almost 7:30. Um, this one's super important. This is the one uh, Morgan and I are going to be launching together, which is fun. She's in Australia. We talk probably twice a day. And um, this one will kind of, she'll be hopefully moving back in December, right before we launch this. And we've been working on it for the last, I would say, two or three months. Three months, because she was here. No, she's been, she's been, she left four months ago. We've been working on it four and a half months now in different spurts. Um, and this call tonight is kind of to go over some final samples. So it'll be really exciting to finally launch that. Um, the lady we're, I'm going to be talking to is calling from Australia, actually. So we'll be getting more content. Stay on the lookout for that. But not a bad place. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's Friday night. I'm going to probably get on this call, go in, have a FaceTime with Morgan, eat a creamy ice cream because I bought some yesterday. And they just, they got my name on them. Um, for dinner tonight, I'm going to make just some ground turkey. No, actually I don't have any more ground turkey. I'm gonna probably use trifecta chicken, use some, my ready cooked rice, my minute rice, my Uncle Ben's. And then I do like a little, it's like a Brussels sprout mix you buy in a bag and I just kind of put it on a pan, saute it, put some spicy mustard in there, some Bragg liquids amido, and then I'll put some kimchi on top. It's simple, it's pretty good. And then I'm also enjoying a wine. So fancy with my wine and my watchdog. My little Doberman pincher. I'm sorry, dude. I shouldn't have called you that. You're a French bulldog, we know. Um, but anyhow, see the lights up there now. The people up there. You can definitely see why, you know, it's not as, not as cool, not as glamorous as my other house, but this view is amazing. And when Morgan gets here, we're gonna build an amazing, a dream house together. And we will 
do a YouTube video on it. I guarantee you. <laughs> but I thanks. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is a day in the life. We, like I said, we worked out twice. We did a lot of business supplements. Um, Project X, interviewing those those guys on the webcam. Jake just got back from Jamaica, and we have to talk about the app. So my weekends versus weekdays really don't change. Tomorrow it'll be pretty much the exact same thing. I'll work out, I'll train for the triathlon, I'll take meetings, I'll take business calls. Partly of that, partly because it's a different day in other countries, like Australia, it's a different day, so people are working. Um, but also partly because one of the things I love about what I get to do is I can do it from anywhere. And it's not a nine to five. I wake up at six, and between social media, that's probably one thing that I didn't show you guys today. We posted a picture and I spent 20 minutes commenting, going through DMs. Um, so a lot of what I do, I get to do because of social media. It allows me to not have to punch into a nine to five. The downside to that is, is I'm always working. Literally 10 o'clock last night, I was calling up Chris, who's been just awesome. I, I hired him about two months ago. I don't even know if it was that long ago. Um, and he's brand manager, kind of everything we got going on, especially with things launching here in the future. And it's somebody that is detail oriented. I'm a high level guy. I see big picture, big picture. <laughs> um, Chris is the detail kind of guy. So he's great setting up brand collaboration, setting up and project X that we're kind of working on that we'll announce here in a few weeks. He's been instrumental in that. So it's been great having him. Um, he used to work at Ultra Running Shoes. We actually did an Ultra Running Shoe collab because of Chris, pretty much. So he's from here, brought him back from Denver. Guy's just super solid. So very fortunate to have him around to be doing some very cool things. Uh, and again, Jake running the gym, the, the fitness culture app. He's the head of programming, stays on top of that, which, you know, is now freeing up more of what I do so I can be better at content because that's kind of what I feel like I've always enjoyed doing so hopefully we can bring more of that to you and then Vinny today Vinny is a guy that came down from Salt Lake um, and filmed did a great job while we we're trying to find that full-time videographer so a lot of a lot of irons in the fire if that's an expression want to get kind of everything in place so when Morgan gets here boom we're finding a house we're, or we're building a house we have project X supplements all of these things now we're just boom 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 for me, it's super important though that I remember to do this. To like, okay, take take a minute, relax, unwind. I have a phone call in three minutes now. But in between then, I'll get off the phone here. Hobbs and I will Netflix. I'll Netflix all. He sleeps on my lap and we'll talk to Morgan. We'll go to bed about 9, 30, 10 because we wake up at six. So anyhow, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next week.